Hello everybody. So we're going to continue with lesson 8.8 .8 today. We are on page 351 of the third grade textbook. And our topic today is find part of a group using unit fractions. And the essential question we should be able to explain by the end of our lesson is, how can a fraction, fraction tell how many are in part of a group? So they unlock the problem. Audrey buys a bouquet of 12 flowers. One third of them are red. How many of the flowers are red? So we know she has a bouquet of 12 flowers. It also told us that one third are red. So how many flowers is Audrey buying all? 12, right? And what fraction of the flowers are red? One third, they told us. Okay, so one way we can do this is to use counters. Okay, so I'm going to use I'm going to use these double colored counters, and, <clears throat> and since we want to find one third of the group, there should be three equal groups, right? So. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so we have twelve. All right. Now, one of the groups only has red, right? So let's let's try to share them that way. So we have one, two, three. Okay, so we have three groups, right? One of the groups is only going to have red. Okay, so one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so we have twelve and we have three equal groups. So then it says, circle one of the groups to show one third. Then count the number of counters in that group. Okay. So we really didn't even have to do red. We could have just gone put 12, right? Okay, so let's let's try it with just using circles. All right, so let's draw our counters. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So we have twelve counters. We have three equal groups. Circle one of the groups. Okay. And that shows one third. Okay, there's three groups. We only we're only counting one of the groups. And count the number of counters in that group. So there are how many counters in one group? There's four. So one third of 12 is four. So we could say that we're gonna have four reds and eight yellows, okay? Because each of the groups has four equal, okay? And so if one third of the group, so hypothetically this whole group would have to be red. So four of the flowers are red. So what if she buys a bouquet of nine flowers and one third of them are yellow? Use your math board and counters to find how many of the flowers are yellow. So she buys nine flowers. One third of them are yellow. Okay. So again, we know that there would be three, right? And this time there's nine flowers to share. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and we're going to use one third of those. Okay, so how many would be yellow? Three. One third of nine equals three. 
Okay. So let's move on to page 352. All right, let's try this. <clears throat> Raul picks 20 flowers from his mother's garden. One fourth of those 20 flowers are purple. How many of the flowers are purple? So draw a row of four counters. Why are we doing that? Because there's going to be four groups. All right, so we're going to keep adding rows of four until we get to 20. So that's 8, 12, 16, 20. All right. And circle one of the equal groups because it said one fourth of the group is purple. So that's one fourth. One equal group. There are how many counters in one group? Five. So five of the flowers are purple. Okay. <clears throat> Use the model to find half of eight. So the denominator tells me that there's going to be two equal groups. And so I have two equal groups. The numerator tells me count one of those two equal groups. So I'm going to circle just one of them. And so how many is in each group? There's going to be four. So half of eight is four. Okay, number two through four. Circle equal groups to solve. Count the number of flowers in one group. So we have eight flowers. The denominator tells me that there needs to be four groups. And we're going to circle one out of the four equal groups. So, well, I see that each row of flowers would be one fourth, right? So, that would be one fourth. So, there would be two yellow flowers. One third of six. So, each column of flowers is a third of the group. So if I had one third, I'd only circle one of the equal groups, and I notice that there's two in it. One sixth of 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so each column is one sixth, and one sixth of 12. We are, we're only gonna use, count one group out of the six, and there's two in that group. Okay. Circle equal groups to solve and count the number of flowers in one group. One fourth of 12. Okay. So the denominator tells me I have four equal groups. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's good. So one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. Each column is one fourth of the flowers. So, one, and then the numerator tells me count one equal group. So I'm just going to circle one equal group. And so, how many are in one fourth? Three. Number six, a third of 15. One, two, three. So each column is one third. I want one third of 15. So I'm just going to circle one column or one group and there's two four five okay one fourth of 16 one two three four so i can go across the bottom and each stack of them is one fourth i'm going to circle just one of the four groups how many is in one equal group four 
So a fourth of 16 is 4. A third of 9. So... Circle one group because it wants one third. So how much is one third of nine? One, two, three. One sixth of eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we want one sixth of the flowers. Okay, well, there's six equal groups. We just want one sixth of the groups. So in each group, there are three. One eighth of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so each one is one eighth. And we want one of them. So one eighth of eight is one. One sixth of thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So each column is one sixth of the group or the total. And we need to circle one equal group because the numerator says one. So how many is in each group? Two, four, five. One third of twelve. <clears throat> So each column is a third of the total. Okay. I'm going to circle one of the groups. The numerator tells me to circle one out of the three equal groups. How many is in that equal group? Four. A half of six. So they want two equal groups. Well, I can't go this way, right? That's three equal groups. So I need to go... This way. This would be two groups, right? So circle one of the two groups, and how much is in the two groups? Three. All right, 14. Draw counters and circle groups to solve. One eighth of 16. Okay, so. One, eight tells me there's going to be eight equal groups. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One eighth. So, every set of two is one eighth of the 16. And so that gives me two. All right, so how did I know to do a row of eight? Well, I took that from the denominator. That told me how many equal groups there's going to be. Okay, so I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I knew I had to add another row until I got to 16. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. And so each column is one eighth of the set. And so I'm going to circle one of those eight groups, and there's two in each group. All right. One sixth of 24. So the six tells me I'm going to have a row of six. Okay. And then I need to keep adding rows of six until I get to 24. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right. And we want one sixth. Well, each column is one sixth. We're going to circle one of the six equal groups, and there are four in that equal group. 
All right, page 354. Use the table for 16 and 17. Flower seeds bought. Okay, so Ryan bought eight packs of seeds. Brooke bought 12 packs of seeds. And Cole bought 20 packs of seeds. All right, so use diagrams. One fourth of the seed packs Ryan bought are violet seeds. How many packs of violet seeds did Ryan buy? Draw counters to solve. All right, so one fourth are violet. How many violet seeds did he buy? Well, Ryan bought eight packs. So we need to know one fourth of eight. Okay, the denominator tells me how many to put in the row. Okay, so I'm gonna have four equal groups. And I need to keep adding to the rows until I get to eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Each column is one fourth of the group. So circle one out of the four groups. And so two packs were violet seeds. All right, 17, one third of Brooks seed packs and one fourth of Cole seed packs are daisy seeds. How many packs of daisy seeds did they buy together? Okay, well, we kind of had two problems here, right? We have one third of Brooks, so one third of 12, so that would be Brooks' set of daisy seeds, and Cole, one fourth of his. 20 packs of seeds are daisies. So one third of 12. So after I find out how many Brooks hat, Brook has and Cole has, I'm just gonna add them together. Okay, so one third of 12. So the three tells me I'm gonna have three equal groups. So I'm gonna keep adding to these equal groups until I get to 12. So three, six, nine, 12. Each group is one third. So I'm going to circle one third of the groups. So Brooke has, Brooke has four packs of daisy seeds. Cole, now his tells me I have four equal groups. And I'm going to keep adding rows of four until I get to 20. Four and four is eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, and each column is one fourth of his total because we have four equal groups. And in each equal group, he has five. So four plus five equals nine packs. All right, so the explanation, one third of 12 is four. So Brooke had four packs of daisy seeds and Cole has one fourth of 20. So he bought five packs of daisy seeds. Four plus five, nine. All right, 18, cents or nonsense? Sophia bought 12 pots. All right, so we know her total is 12. One sixth are green. Sophia said she bought two green pots. Does her answer make sense? So Sophia says she bought two green pots. All right, so one sixth, let's, let's write it out. One sixth of 12. Okay, well the six tells me how many equal groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to keep adding uh, rows of six until I get to 12, because that's how many pots she bought. So this is one row of six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. All right, so we're at 12. Every column is one sixth of the total. So how much is one sixth? One sixth is two. So yes, her answer makes sense. Yes. Because one sixth of 12 is two. And 19. A florist has 24 flowers in a container. All right, 24 sodden flowers in a container. Mrs. Mason buys one fourth of the flowers. Mr. Kim buys one third of the flowers. How many sunflowers are left? All right, so one fourth of the flowers. All right, so let's look at that. So one fourth of 24 for Mrs. Mason and one third of 24 for Mr. Kim. All right, so one fourth of 24. That one's fairly simple to do because I see that there are four rows. So I could say that each row is a fourth of the total flowers, right? So I could just circle one of the groups and get the amount that Mr. Ma uh, Mrs. Mason bought. So hers is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so. And Mr. Kim buys one third of the 24. Hmm, one third. Well, is there a way, do you see a way where you could split these into groups of three equal groups? Hmm. I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five, six. What's six divided by three? Two, right? So if I did this, do I have three equal groups? So I'm saying this group is one third, this group is one third, and this group is one third. That's true, right? So how many did Mr. Kim buy? Mr. Kim bought, we just have to circle one of them. Let's, let's circle this one. So he has two, four, six, eight. He bought eight, but that wasn't just our question. Our question says, how many sunflowers are left? Hmm. Well, between Mrs. Mason and Mr. Kim, they bought 14 sunflowers. So if they bought those sunflowers, they're not left, are they? All right, so 24 take away 14. leaves us 10. So 10 sunflowers are left. Explain how you solve the problem. Mrs. Mason bought six sunflowers. because one fourth of 24 is six. And Mr. Kim 
bought eight sunflowers. Because one third of 24 equals eight. I added the sunflowers they bought. to get 14 and then subtracted from 24. All right, so 10 flowers, 10 flower, seven flowers are left. Mrs. Mason bought six sunflowers because one fourth of 24 is six. Mr. Kim bought eight sunflowers because a third of 24 is eight. We then had to add them together. Eight plus six is 14. And then we subtracted from 24 to get how many were left. 24 take away 14 was 10. Okay, so that's it for lesson 8.8. .8. In our next session, we'll be working on some problem solving involving our concepts that we've learned in Chapter 8. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.